let me few, uh, take a few minutes to do the special of the day today. Uh, as I was thinking about what could be a good uh, assistive technique that I can share, I thought, what, what if, you know, a lot of people go through this phase when uh, they know that they want to think positive, okay? But negative things are happening in life. How do you think positive when it seems like everything is going negative? And like you said, what you focus on increases. How do you focus on positive? There may be some positives, but there's more negative. So how do you increase positivity in life? Do you have that question sometimes come up? Yes. So uh, let me share a, a technique that, that has helped that I have learned from another place and then you can share your technique, right? Okay. So this technique is for people who want to increase positivity in life, who want to feel happy and they sometimes feel that there is a lot of negative ha happening. It can also work in relationship when you feel like you want to give constructive feedback to somebody, but the other person is not willing to accept the criticism because, you know, it is coming negative and people don't like to hear negative comments, right? One of the tools that I have I've learned and used is called 5-1 ratio. And 5-1 ratio is when there's something negative, say it one time. When there's something positive, say it five times. Okay. And so if you like something somebody has done, appreciate in five different ways. I really appreciate, I like this and it really helped me to do this and I feel so much better and it helped me in this way or that way. All right. So you give five positive. If you don't like something, you say it one time. Hey, when you did this, it really hurt me and then stop over there instead of keep repeating it over and over again. Because when you keep repeating something in, uh, in your mind, it keeps building up. So when you would say a positive thing five times, it would build up in your mind, positivity. And when you would say negative thing only one time, it would remain smaller or where it is, all right? And that's how you are going to increase you feeling good and you're also going to help improve your relationship with everybody that you're interacting with because negativity breeds negativity positivity breeds positivity so the more you would train your brain to think positive the more good you would feel and the more good other people around you feel do you think that technique would help you yeah, yeah totally i mean i like the idea of it and uh, i completely agree with you wonderful so share your tips uh, about how to improve positivity now well, there is few ways. There are so many ways you can do that. Uh, one of the way is by doing a daily affirmation or like Tony Robbins call them incantation because affirmation is just when you're saying, hey, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm positive, I'm positive, I'm positive, no emotions, right? And brain goes like, eh, it's a crap. It's not working this way. So what's incantation is when you really connect to that and you feel it. When you say, I'm so happy and you scream it and you jump in, in your garden or whatever. That's what I do every morning. I run or walk for one hour and I do a lot of this inner and emotional work so i'm screaming my incantation i'm screaming what i want to believe what i want to feel and that's one of the way you can prime your body your brain sorry uh and your body uh, to the future that you want to the more positive thinking and things like that and you have to condition it every day it's not something that you've done once and it's working it's same like going to the gym lifting the muscle uh, lifting the weight i'm sorry you need to go and go consistently a few times a week or whatever i do those practices every single day and Wonderful. one of the way that tony robbins taught me is change your meaning change your story change your life because the most important it's not what even happened in the world it's what we do with this information it's how we take it our inner world and uh, what if we're really going to believe that life is happening for us what if life happen not to you what if there is no such a thing as problem what if it's all just challenges by sent to you i don't know who you believe maybe the greater consciousness maybe your god your creator maybe it's the universe itself sending you this gift of challenge ak problem what if you turn problems into the challenges that came here to you to train your spirit like you train in the gym lifting muscles uh, sorry again lifting muscles and lifting weight to train your muscles what about problems I understand sometimes it's hard to under, uh, understand that but that's what i'm i'm reframing all the time i'm putting different meaning for example even two days ago my cat was walking around and screaming he wanted to eat food and i start getting angry and frustrated i caught myself on the emotion of anger and frustration 
And then I start asking myself, why am I feeling this way? Like, oh, because my cat, I see the answer in my head because my cat want to make me angry. Is it really true? And I understood it's not true. My cat doesn't even want to make me angry. He just want to eat. So I change it. And I, and I really believe that everything happens for reason and a purpose in my life. And it serves me. Life doesn't happen to us. Life happens for us. So I start learning. What can I learn from this cat screaming? Maybe I can learn a little bit of patience. Maybe I can learn a little bit of patience, right? Uh, I have many, many examples so of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is but so great. Is the, and yeah, yeah the the ta- the, you know, you're having such inspirational talk. So uh, I didn't realize that time is passing. So we'll have to end today. But let's schedule another time where we can meet and bring some more inspirational tools to our audience. So thank you so much, Alex, for joining. And let me uh, leave the audience with this question. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. You have a choice. What choice are you going to make? Are you going to make the choice of worrying about the past and feeling bad about it? Or are you going to forgive yourself and take a new step and bring positivity in your life? On that note, stay safe, healthy, and happy. Till next time. Thank you. Bye.